All right. Um. So here's your site right now. Mm -hmm. Oh, let me go there. Okay. Okay. Um. So what we're gonna do is uh, let's try themeedy.com first. Okay. So here are some design themes. Okay. So these go on top of thesis. Mm -hmm. Now, do you see any of these that you like? And there's more down below, so let me know when you're done looking at those. Yeah, just go there. Okay, and can I see the line it up also? Yep. I want to check that one out. Yeah, so this is line it up. So now if you click on any of these, it's a slider. Those four pitch. Oh, yeah, so you okay. can set this to be uh, whatever page posts. Uh, you can ha add in images, styles, videos, widgets. Even an opt-in form. I think I like that one, but... Yeah, this one's pretty cool. And I'll show you the the really cool thing about using the themity themes. Because uh, you actually get short codes. And what you can do with short codes is you can actually add buttons and info boxes. You can add columns, quotes, styled lists social medias on p different pages. Cool. Uh, so, uh, line it up then is the one you wanted? Yeah. Okay. So, just have to get the files. Yeah, I like that one. You do a lot with that. Alright, so line it up. Uh, okay, so I'm going to download the thesis. Here we are on your site. And we're going to log in. And log in. <laughs> I see you changed the save now button. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. Um,. So now we're going to go ahead and install the Line It Up thesis theme. And so to do that, we go to Appearance and Themes. And we go ahead and install a theme and upload from my computer. And I'll browse and I'll go get that file. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Downloads. And once we have the zip file, we install it. It does the whole unpacking, installing, and theme installed successfully. We activate it. And so since it's the first time installing it, we need to import the recommended design. And we click OK. And that does all that fun stuff. And then we need to install a ThemeD Visual Designer plugin so we'll install that now and it is activated successfully and so now if we go to your site this is what it looks like right now mm -hmm. so if you ever want to change the design on your uh, your mm -hmm. header design, uh, you go to appearance and then header. Okay. okay. Uh, so we can cust we can upload a design if we want because right now it looks a little wonky. Okay. Uh, now the image that you have on this this mm -hmm. uh, header, I know for a yeah, fact you didn't take this. 
Okay. Do you have the license to use this photo? Uh, I got that from my Windows pictures, sample pictures. Yeah. Sample? Okay. Um, so here's a really awesome tip for you. Don't use any pictures unless you yeah. have the license for it or you know for a fact it's free uh, public domain okay. images. Because you will get okay. sued. I know that from oh. experience. Well, we'll go ahead and take that down. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, well, Google actually doesn't actually have the picture on their site. They, uh, they're just they take they take all the information from all the over the place and they're just mm -hmm. listing it. So they, uh, yeah. So what you want to do is if you want to use an image like this, you want to go to Google and type in free public domain images. And then a good one to look at is publicdomainpictures.net. Public domain pictures okay. Um, so you're going to see professional stock photos, and you're also going to see free pictures. So typically what I do is I'll just type in the search, uh, let's say, um, tropics. And then we've got the free ones, and then we've got the professional ones. So uh, let's say you wanted the beach one, for example, you just click on it. And then down below, you can see the license information. So this image is public domain. You may use this picture for any purposes, including commercial. If you do use it, please consider linking back to us. Uh, but otherwise, you're back all good. Back to us, what you mean, as far as? Well, if you are going to uh, use this image, then they would ask that you uh, hyperlink. Uh, so what you would do is you would take this yeah. code, and, and then when people click on the image, it would bring them back to this, this page. You don't have to, though. Oh, it's just yeah. requested. Yeah. Um, but so what you can do is you can use this image for your header. Got it. And if you really like these pictures, you can buy the person who took it a, co a <laughs> cup of coffee. Oh, okay. I'll see that. <laughs> that <was> good. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, so try to use this site, for Public Domain Pictures, okay. if you ever want I'll these photos. That, uh, yeah, I'll just take um, that picture down. <laughs> I'll yeah. Because it's not fun having to pay a thousand dollars per picture. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to create a quick um, logo for you. Uh, here's another good site. It's called CoolText.com. Cool so you can actually create buttons, and you can also create um, text. That's oh, a little okay. bit different. Uh, so, for your header, uh, let's use some text just to start you off. So, what kind of text here do you like? Like this one? Yeah. Okay. All right, so render. That looks pretty cool. Uh, thesis header. Browse. Upload. Okay. Uh, the top title, how does that look? I think that looks... Looks pretty good. Yeah, I like that. Okay. Yeah. I mean, you can change it later on, but for now. Okay. Um, so let's go back to the documentation. So inside of your site here, mm -hmm. you see slides. Yeah. Okay. And what we would do is we would click Add New. 
And then just like the other the pages, other yeah. um, posts and pages, yeah. So uh, you type the text you want displayed in the main content box, and then set a new featured image into the display, and then you publish. Only the four latest slides are shown on the front page. Okay, so basically what we can do is we type in yay, here is a slide. And okay. you set the featured image here on the side. And you can select files from your computer, so you use whatever you really want. Um, let's go ahead and just use something for an example. Uh, we'll do this one. And then once you upload it, you click mm -hmm. Use as Featured Image. So you you would do that for mm -hmm. each and every single one of your sliders. And it's for the time. And then we click publish. And let's take a look at what that looks like. So, yay, here's a slide. Uh, and that's what we put in there. And then here's the image that shows up. Okay. So you can create four slides, set the featured image to whatever you want. And then here you can put in video, you can put in text, you can put in pictures, whatever you want. Whatever you do in here in this content mm -hmm. area okay. is what shows up. Mm -hmm. Okay. So I'll move this to trash mm -hmm. and refresh. Okay. So that's how you add that in. And all right. So now there's a couple of things that you can do when you're working with your site here. Uh, you have thesis installed. Um, so you have the option in site options to use either the WordPress or the thesis navigation menu. Okay. I personally like using WordPress nav. Yeah, now, yeah. so you get there through appearance and menus. And the reason why I like using this one here is simply because it gives you a lot easier functionality. Um, so let's just create a menu here. So menu name, let's call it uh, primary menu and create menu. And so with the primary menu, you can add whatever pages you want, whatever categories you want, mm -hmm. and custom links that you want. Okay. Um, so let's put in Keith's blog and about and add it to menu. So once you have it added to the menu, you can actually change the title, so what it actually shows up as. And then you save the menu. And then you select the th menu that you want, because some people create multiple menus mm -hmm. to change it all uh, at different times. Uh, and then you click Save once you choose the menu you want. Mm -hmm. So if we go back to your blog, you see About and Keith's blog. Yeah, okay, cool. That's what I want to do, too. <laughs> so, now if you want to add things through your widgets, you can add stuff into your sidebar 1 and sidebar mm -hmm. 2. Yeah. This is pretty cool. Uh, so what you can do here, um, the, mm -hmm. do you see these little guys, the ThemeD ads? Okay, so what you can do is you can actually, like this one right here, gives you six 125 by 125 blocks. So if I add this over here, you can actually add in a title, mm -hmm. the image link, um, and the, the add URL link, so where okay. they're going to go when they click on it. And so if we save that and okay. we go to your page, oh, okay. that's what shows up. So you can actually go ahead and go into MLSP, grab the, um, mm -hmm. the banners that they offer you, and you can add the, the image in here 
and and hit, l link it up so that it points to your um, like uh, here I'll show you uh, if we go to top alpha mentors dot com uh, here our sponsors so you see right here this is an image from oh, MLSP yeah, okay. I took and if you click on it it brings yeah. you to your lead capture page cool. <laughs> so that's another way of of getting a way to capture your people is by adding your sponsors on your sidebar. So that's pretty cool. Um, another thing is if you have a Flickr account and you want to put your photos there, you can actually just drag this into your widget and there you go. You put in your Flickr ID, the number of photos you want, and then you just click save. And then when you refresh on your page, it shows photos. Oh, okay. cool. So if you go to mm -hmm. events, live events and things like that, uh, and you have photos of you with leaders, then you throw them into your Flickr account, and then boom, yeah. they can show up here. That's cool. And you're in your post area. You're going to see this extra little button that's now added to your site. Okay. Okay, if you click it. You can insert buttons, info box, typography, uh, related posts, styled list, column layout, dividers, oh, okay. social media buttons. Okay, so you would click button, for example, if you want a button. So typically at the bottom of each page, you would add in a button. So I would do this for, I would just call the title, the button title. Um, uh, we get... Uh, risk free trial today uh, now and then the link would be to your MLSP capture page and then you can choose the type of button the style so, so you can have it as a download thingy-bob a check you can select the color and whether you want to open a new window and I usually say yes okay. So then if we insert this, it just looks like that. You can center it if you want. And if we click preview, options, allow pop-ups. Preview. There we go. See, there's okay. the button. So then at the end of every single post, you would have a button that says, like, uh, get your risk-free test drive of um, mm -hmm. online marketing education platform. Click here now. And so they click it, and they go to your MLSP capture page. Sweet. <laughs> uh, now, do you have any questions so far? Do you like this theme? Did you want me to remove it? No, that, that theme is cool. I like it. Cool. I even like the color. <laughs> I'll probably change maybe a little bit of color. But it's cool. Yeah, definitely. But I did have a Yeah. Yeah, because this gives you... And yep. Regarding the way yeah, the home keeps blog about and the subscribe and the help. Yep. What do you think the best way to do that is for... Like, would you put the, the blog just on the front page and then take away that, that blog page? I mean, the home... Um, no, um, I would definitely leave the home page as is for you. Um, for this type of, of theme, it's nice to have this the way it is. Okay. Um, it kind of, it gives you a lot more user ability on the front page. Uh, because I don't know if the slider would work properly if you had it, um, set to the front page as a blog. Okay that I'm not sure of so this way I think would work better especially since you have the slider okay. yeah but uh, definitely take advantage of the slider uh, it is very I powerful would put that on the front. I don't know how to see. yeah okay cool and it's good to have an about page too yeah, 
about pages are good. Um, it's actually quite interesting. There's, it's usually about 30% of traffic goes to the about page first. Oh, okay. Yeah, we have put some, some stuff in here. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Add in some, uh, add in some photos. Um, typically, what I like to do is I like making the text black. Mm -hmm. For some reason, WordPress makes everything light gray. It is. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, just make everything black, um, and then uh, put a motion into your, into your, like right here. Uh, never again. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Uh, I cannot entrust my family. Yeah. All that. Whatever you're putting in caps, oh, bold okay. it. Okay. Yeah, because it just gives it that much more emphasis. Mm -hmm. J O B, no more. Yeah, all of those, uh, all the ones in caps and uh, like the acronyms and stuff like that. Okay. Bold them. And yeah, definitely on some photos in there. All right, on my page. Like a, ni a nice, a nice photo of you and your wife hugging. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Oh, she, she <laughs> okay. Did you hear that? What was that? Did you hear her? No, I didn't hear that. Oh, I thought she, she was nope. like, can I ask him something? And you was like, yeah. <laughs> so I thought she was. Oh, no, I was just saying, <laughs> yep. Oh, did, did you pull it on that link? Mm -hmm. Okay. Did you, can you click on that link that Keith sent you about um, Gideon um, Shawick? Yep. Um. Uh, where did it go? Where I think I, I sent it by Google. I'm not Google. Um, Facebook. Facebook. Oh, Facebook. Yeah. Yep. Okay. How did he create that sub area right there with the download your copy? Your copy is 100 percent free. How did he? How did you make those? That little area. Um. Well, here I'll show you. Um. In aweber.com. Oh. You don't have to. Yeah. yeah. Can you? And once you purchased it, in, um, in eye contact. At the moment, I have eye contact. Do you have eye contact? Yeah. Then yeah, you can do the same thing with eye contact. Okay. Yeah, if you already have eye contact, just stick with okay. eye contact. And so, where would you go at in the area to actually create something like that? Because it looks looks nice and professional. He has the the book graphic and everything in there. I was just wondering how he did it. Right. Um, what I would recommend for you to do is go to Fiverr.com, okay. and that's F-I-V-E-R-R. -R. Mm -hmm. And then in the search, you just put in opt in graphic. Okay. And uh, it should come up here. So yeah. Um, I will design custom email opt-in overlay forms for five dollars. Okay. Everything on the site you can get done for five dollars. Okay. Cool. Okay. Sounds good to me. <laughs> yeah. So, like, uh, if you want a professional banner for your site, for example, um, you can get one done on here for five bucks. Just let them know that you need it to be transparent, and then you kind of give them some images from Google that you like, and then tell them to make something like right. it. Right. Right. Okay, I appreciate. It. Yeah. Yeah, and then uh, this guy right here, actually, right here, I will send you hundreds of web two images for five bucks. So these mm -hmm. are a whole bunch of images that you can use. Um, just uh, when when they're sending you mass things like this, like if you're looking at these things, uh, be careful. Mm -hmm. um, just because sometimes. Um, Ask if they have license to share these. Oh, okay. Oh, like right here, actually. I will provide full resell rights. Okay. Uh, I will give you a pre-made sales page. No, 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 no. So, yeah, you want to make sure that you get rights to use these images. Okay. If they're creating something original, then you don't need to have any rights or anything like that. But these guys right here, like they're sending you hundreds of images, typically means they got it from someone else and they purchased the license for it. Okay. So just like, uh, for example, you'll get some people on here which will, they'll sell you uh, a thesis theme for five bucks. So they're just sending you their files, but you didn't pay for the license, so you might get caught. Right. right? Okay. So, yeah, just uh, keep your eyes open for top-rated seller, like this mm -hmm. guy right here. 
uh, it'll say on there. So top rated seller typically means that they are uh, trustworthy. And then look at the re reviews. Make sure that they're, they've got a lot of positive reviews. Okay. And so yeah, you can get um, and make sure that when you're doing it, you uh, you specify you need it for eye contact. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I'll definitely jump on this. I, I would like to get that done. For sure. Yeah, because uh, basically what, what you get on here is you get high quality graphics just like you would on 99 designs, but 99 designs are paying like 250 bucks for wow. the same thing. Yeah. <laughs> no, I'll stick with fiber. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, so yeah, have fun with that. Um, actually, what I'm going to do here with your site, um, just quickly. Uh, on the Themity settings, I have to do this so that you don't get in trouble. Um, built on by Thesis. Uh, whoops, undo. Uh, site managed by. HTTP top alpha. Com. Top Alpha Team. Save. Uh, okay, so now basically on. Whoops, that needs to be. Site. Managed by. Save. Refresh. Okay, good. Um, so basically, you can edit everything on the footer except leave uh, site managed by top alpha team. Mm -hmm. And the reason for that is I installed this skin on your yeah. site, and I have the license. I have a developer's license, so I can install it on clients. Okay. So as long as it shows that this site is managed by me, you're good. Okay. So yeah, um, if you have any questions, uh, just send me a Facebook message or Skype or an email. Uh, and uh, you have the documentation there to help you out if you need it. All right. Yeah. Thank you. And then otherwise, just um, play around with the site a little bit and uh, add content on a regular basis. Okay. So in my blog? Yeah, okay. in the blog. Okay.